All right, folks, happy Monday. It's 20th of June. It's about 25 minutes to bean time. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There seems to be a growing trend here. Don't get me wrong. I'm happy and grateful with what I do have, okay? But... It seems to me that any predominant grass land that I hit, you can see the trefoil right there, that I hit with the no-till drill last fall has really, really dwindled. We're talking thin. Folks, I can't hardly explain it to you, but between this, this we're on the south hill right now. I've already cut the north hill. It's just on the other side of those pines. To include what used to be the pure grass field across the highway that I cut yesterday. Uh, we're talking extremely thin. And these are always bunker busters of fields. Um, again, happy with what I do have here, but... This is becoming normal. I don't know. Yeah, that field across the highway, which was a pure grass, and I did hit that with the no-till last fall, uh, there's been absolute acre and bale records broken on that damn thing. Not this year. I gotta be honest with you. This is fairish. The field I'm speaking of that I hit yesterday, awful, awful, absolutely awful. We're talking double wind row raking for small square bale. Okay, in addition to yesterday's cutting, I also dropped, uh, this. that's about seven acres right there. That's just filthy rich. That was another field there that I planted into a pure stand of alfalfa two years ago. That showed its face here as well this year with alfalfa. Not to, you know, to include all the grass that's in there as well. And that is just, that's thick as thieves. So, yeah, I've got a, I've got a hell of a lot of hay down. We've got the weather to do it. We're already at 83 degrees. We're going to see 95 today. And uh, they're saying that we're going to hit 100 tomorrow, which uh, <laughs> guy needs to get his work done during the day so he can go to the beach at night with a couple of hay friends, don't you think? So I've got just a, a little bit to go here yet and I'm done. And this disbine, this disbine's getting parked for a while. I've got an insane amount of hay down, you know, for this operation and what's considered normal. Uh, <coughs> and we just need to, this weather pattern needs to stick. And uh, we're going to have a pile of round bales. And obviously I went, I went after this all for dry, dry hay making of round bales. Get a nice little stockpile going. Uh, things are pretty busy here. Uh, Dad was able to join forces here this morning. <coughs> and he went and spread some fertilizer for me. Uh, he's I guarantee he's already done. He ended up going to the, uh, the other field across the highway. That's all been done and wrapped. I'm behind on uploading videos. Um, and he went back there with uh, 100 pounds of the acre of potash and 30 pounds of the acre of sulfur. And uh, hopefully in five more days, like it's proposed, we get that rain coming. I'm gonna change, uh, I'm gonna change jobs right after this guy's done here. I'm on hooking the disc bind and I'm immediately hooking up to the cultivator. I've decided to cultivate the uh, that 13 acre chunk that I had the uh, the winter rye on, 
and I'm gonna pick at that property as I can um, for put it in into uh, new seeding I am NOT going to uh, nurse crop mother crop the new seeding with anything I thought about peas and oats or just maybe oats do it at a high moisture bale wrap I'm, I'm not gonna do it and uh, that's it so I'm gonna take you with me for just a bit otherwise I got a lot of irons in the fire here today and uh, I need to get my butt in gear nice of weather as we got coming here excuse me that that's actually here um, probably won't be raking until Wednesday and I'm gonna start off with uh, the grassy alfalfa field which if you've seen the video before this that I didn't upload you know it's a monster and, uh, we'll go from there things are going pretty good it's a happy Monday Things are very busy. I just got off the phone with John Deere. I had to order some parts for the older Moco. Uh, Dad took it to the house the other day and started doing some maintenance on it. There's a couple parts that are needed. Um, thankfully minor. And uh, we're gonna go from there. Which is kind of a shame on me that I didn't haul that out of the uh, the weeds a month ago to investigate but uh, what are you gonna do This, I dare say, record-breaking heat that we have coming for just the third week in June. I don't think any of us is a stranger to seeing what happened in Kansas. There's a lot that can be said about that, but let's just talk about heat. I'm pretty happy and thankful that the cattle are still on Kuthas, and they're going to be on Kuthas for the next two more days during this big heat wave. And of course, you know that that's got tree lines on both sides for plenty of shade. So that we've, we've got a little bit of a perfect world going in that aspect. Pretty happy about that. Cattle are doing real good. Two more calves. I doctored them this morning. Um, when there's a little time to breathe, we're going to do a nice evening run with the cows and calves and have ourselves a nice little look from there. Yeah, extremely thin. Moisture has not been a problem, nor has fertility somebody can lend me your expertise is there any is there any reason to think that that no-till drilling that I did on these predominant grass fields last fall
can that be a cause? I'm asking. I, I, I don't know. It's becoming a trend, though. Hope everybody's doing okay on this Monday. I'm going to talk to you sooner than later.